In today's Blender tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to make a very simple ice cream in Blender. So you can see this is the result. And we're going to be making sort of like a raspberry swirl, swirl ice cream. And we'll also be making this cone over here. And um, it just makes me hungry looking at this. But I'll quickly show you what the blend file looks like. Here you can see. Um, this is it. And I will be uploading this blend file to my Patreon. So those of you on Patreon will be receiving this. Um, but you can see. This is the ice cream here, and um, it's completely made in Blender. We're not going to be using any external plugins, tools, assets. This is just a build of Blender and a free tutorial, and you can make this ice cream as well. So definitely subscribe, give a like, and let's jump in. Okay, so we have a new scene open up in Blender. Let's select all of the default objects and press delete. And then in our front orthographic view, we're going to go Shift A, and under our mesh add options, we're going to add in a cylinder. And now let's press tab on our keyboard to go into edit mode. And what we're going to do here in wireframe, let's just select these bottom verts and scale them. Let's select all these top verts and go G, Z, and just move them up. So we have something that looks like this. Okay, so that's kind of like the bottom of our cone. And what we're going to do is back in solid view, we're going to go Control R, hovering over one of these edges. And we're just going to roll the middle mouse button until we add in a whole bunch of segments. So I'm going to go something like that and double click. And now you can see we have all of these squares, right? So what we're going to do with them active, we're going to go Shift D to duplicate, right click to let go. And let's go P and separate that selection. So now back in object mode, we have this as a separate object, object here. And we're going to tab into edit mode. And we're going to press A to select all of it. And we're going to press F3 on our keyboard. And we're going to type in poke. So P O K E. And we're going to go poke faces. And then we're going to go Alt J with it all still active. And now it's going to have the sort of crisscross. Um, 45 kind of angle running spirals that go around like this. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to modifiers, add modifier, search, and let's type in wire and let's click on wireframe and let's go back into object mode. And now let's make the thickness much bigger, something like this. There we go. And now we're going to select our cone again. We're going to tab into edit mode. Let's just select these bottom, um, this bottom face here and go control B to create a bevel and roll the middle mouse button just to add in some segments. And then let's select this top face. And in our front view, we're just gonna go E to extrude and S to scale, and then E to extrude up, like so. And then E to extrude and S to scale. So now we have this face that's a bit smaller. And then in the front view, we're just gonna go E to extrude, extrude up to about here and go S to scale. And then let's come in here, Control R, left click twice, and then S to scale. And then go Control B and just bevel this and roll your middle mouse button to add in some segments, like so. And then just left click. And then we're going to go select this edge and double G just to slide it down. Control B to create a bevel. Roll the middle mouse button until we only have one middle segment. And then Shift Alt left click on this edge and go Control B. Roll your middle mouse button just to add in one segment. And now we have our ice cream here. So. Um, or at least a cone. So you can now get your proportional editing, select um, bits that you want to edit and kind of change the shapes. Look at some references on the internet. Um, this is just kind of a general way of making an ice cream cone, right? You can be as creative as you want. So with that done, um, actually maybe just, let's just create one more thing here. We're just going to grab this top group of faces. We're going to go E to extrude, right click. Then we're going to go Alt S, and maybe turn off proportional editing first. We're gonna go Alt S and just scale out. And then Control R, add an edge here, S to scale. Now we just have a lip running around like so. And I might just select this inside face and go E to extrude down, S to scale, E to extrude down, S to scale, something like this. Okay, just a simple cone. And now I'm gonna tab back out. And with this active, I'm gonna to go to my modifier, search and type in sub. Let's get a subdivision surface and bump it up to two. Right click and go shade smooth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the drop down here and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. Okay, so that's really high um, topology, but it needs to be because we're going to be remeshing it. And then let's select this grid over here. Let's just bump the thickness up just a little bit more. And let's come to the drop down and apply that. And then with this grid selected, we're going to hold and shift and select the cone, control J and join them together. Now with all of this here, um, you could, I guess, leave it as it is, but I think what makes it look a little bit nicer is to go to your modifiers, add modifier, search and type in 
remesh and click on it and then make this 0 0.0 and now this is a kind of all fused together and you can go shade um, smooth shade here so that just I think looks a bit better you can turn it off for the viewport if it's lagging um, and then it'll just render but I'm gonna leave it on because it's not lagging in my viewport but now we have one fused together mesh and it's gonna look really cool once we add some materials so now let's go shift a let's add in a UV sphere let's go G Z and move it up I'm gonna select my cone I'm just gonna scale it down and move it up a little bit and then place this down here so we want the um, the scoop here to be about this big and then we're gonna tab into edit mode and let's just go ahead and wireframe just like the bottom part of the sphere it's like so and let's just go E to extrude left click and let's go S shift and Z so S shift Z of that selection and just scale it out like so and then with our smooth tool here selected let's just click and drag on that gizmo to smooth this all out and um, this is gonna kind of be the bottom part of the the ice cream here so you can always come in here and adjust it a little bit so just as we have as long as we have the sort of lip at the bottom there we go and then what we're going to do is we're going to press a to select everything right click and go subdivide and let's grab our smooth tool here just smooth it a little bit more and then we're going to go into our wireframe and just select all of this bottom part of the ice cream let's go to our object data properties go to the vertex group and click plus and assign that then if we tab out we can right click and go shade smooth let's go to modifiers add modifier we're going to search and type in sub and get a subdivision surface then we're gonna go add modifier search and we're gonna get a displace and click on it. And then let's go to our texture properties, click a new. Let's go to the type and make it cloud. And back under our modifiers, let's just come here to the vertex group and select that group there. And now you can adjust the strength as much as you like, but I would go over here um, and let's also bump the viewport levels up to two for now. I would go over to the texture properties and mess around with the scale until I get something that's a little bit more refined like this and you can also mess around with the depth a little bit to get more um, detail here but something like that should be fine okay so that's just the scoop part of the ice cream you can adjust the strength all that you want um, actually I might just in edit mode just scale this top bit down a little bit and just kind of scale this you can mess around with it all you want but um, that's what I'm gonna do for now so now in our front view we're gonna go shift a add in a camera I'm gonna move my camera back like so and in the camera view you can adjust your camera however you want I'm just gonna have mine looking from the front like so and then we're gonna go to our render engine we're gonna change it to cycles and then under our render max samples let's set that to I'm gonna go with 70 and in our front view, let's go Shift A. Let's go to our light options, add in an area light. And let's go G, move it over. Let's go R to rotate it. With our light properties, let's give it a strength of 400. And let's up the size a little bit. And then in my top view, I'm just gonna move it more forward. Shift D to duplicate and have one coming from the side. And then Shift D to duplicate and just have two that I'm duplicating coming from the back. To give us some room lighting and now if we go Z and we go render it we can see this is what we have so I'm going to select the ice cream cone I'm going to go to my materials and go new I'm going to call it cone and for now I'll just give it a base color like so and I'm going to select the ice cream and go new and call it ice cream okay so now we have our materials added but we can make this look much more realistic by going to our shading workspace and let's start by selecting our cone and let's give it some texture. So we're gonna go shift a search get a noise texture let's plug that color into the base color here then go shift a search and get a color ramp place it on here and let's drag this value down and then give it kind of like a creamish kind of color like that and let's drag this value up and make it more light and just make it kind of like a dull brown and let's take the scale here and make it 112 and now you can see we have a nice looking texture then we're gonna go shift a search and get a bump node and let's go shift a search and just type in ramp 
get another color ramp. And let's take this color and plug it into the factor. Take this color here, plug it into the height of the bump. And then we take the bump normal output and feed it into the principal normal. And let's take the strength to 0 0.06, like so. And let's also go to a subsurface here and give it a weight of 0.45. Okay, cool. Now let's make the ice cream material. So we're gonna select the ice cream. And we're also gonna come here, we're gonna go shift a search and get a noise. Actually, let's go with a wave texture. We're gonna get a wave texture. Let's plug the color into the base color here. And let's go shift a search and get a ramp. Color ramp, place it here. Let's drag this value up and let's make that a nice saturated raspberry pink. And then bring this value down. Let's just make it a little bit of an off-white kind of cream color. Then let's make sure the scale is one. Let's make the distortion 13. And now if you look at your ice cream here, if you go Z and go material preview, you can see that's the texture. We're gonna come here to the roughness and bring it down to 0.12. And then we're gonna to come to the subsurface and make it a value of 0.45. And then we're gonna go shift a search and get a noise texture. Let's go shift a search and get a ramp. Plug the color into here. Shift a search, let's get a bump node. And let's take that color output, plug it into the height. And then let's take the bump output and put it into the normal of the principled BSDF. Let's give it a scale of 22. And let's bring down the strength to 0.2, like so. And then let's just drag this black value up a little bit to add more contrast to the texture on the color ramp. So now here is our ice cream material. You can see it's looking really good. And if we go Z and go rendered, we can see this is the result we have. So now you can go ahead, if you want to, duplicate your lights, add them in. Um, some more rim lighting would look really nice. You can add in a HDRI, add in a background. Um, the sky is the limit with how you can do this. I'm just going to go to my film and just set it to transparent in the background. But you guys can go add your own scene. Um, but for now, let's just go. I might just grab this cone and just make this value here a little bit darker. So for now, let's just go render and render this image and see what it looks like. And here we have our ice cream render. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this Blender tutorial. If you did, definitely give it a like, subscribe, and check out some of our other content. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.